so this is lecture 3 on switch capacitor circuits in the last lecture we were discussing about uh, trying to develop a switch parasitic insensitive switch capacitor circuit so since uh, this node is having a parasitic capacitor in order to avoid that uh, instead of taking connection from this point we have taken the from the other plate of the capacitor which will make only one difference which is a polarity difference now <clears throat> And um, now the next question is, if this node is having a capacitance, definitely this node also will be associated with some capacitance. Say I call it as CP2 and this is CP. Now, will this create any problem? So, uh, in the previous case, uh, we told that CP will definitely affect the output voltage. But uh, what about CP2? <clears throat> yeah, so if you carefully look at CP2, uh, during sampling phase, uh, when your 5 1 and 5 1 A both are closed, the capacitance, um, the capacitance C, which will be charging through this path. The charging path of the capacitor is this one now. This is the charging path as of now uh, during uh, sampling phase. Now, during hold phase, uh, the, the this node is going to ground and we are taking this from uh, the other plate of the capacitor to the next one. Now if you uh, look at uh, sampling phase, the capacitance CP2 is actually connected uh, across the switch 5.1a and during, since during sampling phase, uh, the charge on, uh, so during sampling phase, the charge on CP2 is actually equal to 0. Since the charge in the capacitor CP2 during sampling is 0, even if we take the output from this point for the hold phase, this CP2 will not create any problem to the uh, output voltage because there is no charges uh, present in the CP2. So it will not make any difference. So our CP2 is basically a short during uh, this sampling phase. Mm. So the, the thing is since there is no charge associated with the CP2, there is nothing to dump to the capacitor C2. So now if I complete the uh, circuit diagram, it is uh, this point is connected to uh, again this this one minus and plus and this is the uh, C2 capacitance and this is V out. Now from this point when I take this connection to the C2 during whole phase no charges will come from CP2 because during sampling itself uh, CP2 capacitor is short to uh, short. Now uh, if I draw the circuit diagram in a proper way <clears throat> with proper understanding uh, we can draw like this. This is your input, and we have a first switch which is at 5 1 during sampling, and this should be uh, connected to capacitor C1, and the other end is connected to bottom plate sampling to ground. So this is 5-1-A and the other one is 5-1. So this is actually the path during sampling. And if you understood the uh, previous circuit, so this is the path what we have done. The, the path in this yellow line is what I have drawn now. Now, uh, during whole phase, I should take the connection from the negative plate of the capacitor. Now, uh, this is actually a negative plate. From here, the connection should proceed. I'll uh, use light blue. So, from this point, I should take uh, connect to the next switch, which is operating at 52. And when I take uh, the charges from the negative plate, the other plate should be connected to ground, which is also operated at 52. And from this point, uh, it should be connected to an amplifier 
with the capacitance C2 which is connected there. So this is the complete circuit. Now previously uh, our voltage was minus C1 by C2 into V in and uh, we were taken we have taken output from uh, the this one. Now since uh, we have taken from the negative plate of the capacitor the output voltage V out is nothing but C1 by C2 into V in. So for proper understanding a sampling uh, phase this is the path and for hold phase this is the path right so since this circuit uh, yeah so all nodes we have capacitors but that capacitors are now now not affecting the output uh, signal so this circuit is known as parasitic insensitive switch capacitor integrator parasitic insensitive switch capacitor integrator now uh, <clears throat> So if you look at this circuit, I uh, should clearly understand, yeah, which is a sampling mode, uh, during sampling mode, yeah, if you for the circuit, the sampling mode equivalent circuit is uh, something like this. Capacitor C1 and during that time and this is a sampling mode equivalent now your hold mode equivalent is This is your whole model. So uh, carefully look at uh, the set of three lectures to properly understand uh, how to develop the uh, architecture of a parasitic insensitive switch capacitor integrator. So uh, understand these lectures properly. Thank you.